Pee Wee Herman, actor Paul Rubin's official cause of death was disclosed. The American comedian passed away on July 30th. His death certificate was just recently made public. According to his death certificate, revealed on Friday, the American comedian Paul Rubens, whose alter ego Pee Wee Herman caused a sensation on television and in movies throughout the 1980s, passed away on July 30th from leukemia and lung cancer. The actor was also battling metastatic lung cancer and acute myelogenous leukemia, which eventually led to his death from respiratory failure, according to information published by The Blast. After the 70-year-old comedian passed away a little more than a month ago, those close to him highlighted in a statement that his talent and prolific legacy will live forever in the pantheon of comedy and in our hearts as a dear friend. Rubens, who was born in New York in 1952, developed the Pee Wee persona in 1978 while a member of the comedy troupe The Groundlings, which quickly rose to fame in Los Angeles and then across the rest of the nation. The NBC program Late Night with David Letterman served as the initial platform for him to establish Pee Wee's grandiose television persona, complete with a red bow tie and a gray suit jacket, extremely unique that both youngsters and adults enjoyed. Because of how well-liked his character was, he started traveling the country in 1984, performing at prestigious locations including New York's Carnegie Hall. Between 1986 through 1991, he hosted Pee Wee's Playhouse, a lively children's show in which Rubens was surrounded by animated talking toys and furnishings. With more than 45 episodes over five seasons, this format garnered 22 Emmy nominations. Up until 1991, when he was jailed for indecent exhibitionism in Sarasota, Florida, the city where he was raised, his career appeared to have no bounds. He was discovered masturbating in an adult movie theater. Although masturbation in the X rooms was prohibited, they were legal. Following this, dozens of media sites reproduced the image of his mugshot and the information in his file, and his reputation was so harmed that CBS broke its contract with the artist and ceased airing Pee Wee's Playhouse. Since then, he has tried in vain to revive his career by taking on supporting parts in movies like Batman Returns, television shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and even producing a third movie based on his favorite character in 2015.